So if any of you remember, Sally had those mysterious bumps on her withers, and they appeared to be abscesses. So um, this is the fourth one we've been dealing with. So Dr. J came out today, and she brought her ultrasound. So what she's doing is she's going over the area where the, um, where the mysterious abscesses appeared and her ultrasound is hooked up to her machine here and she's getting some images of what is underneath whatever that may be so just like human ultrasound they put that lovely gel to help what does that do help clarify yeah it just helps them. It, it's uh, conductive right exactly better so this doesn't hurt Sally at all we don't know if we're even gonna find anything but just thought this might be an interesting clip to see how we um, look underneath the skin here's another view of the ultrasound really don't see anything under there do you Yeah, we just don't know why these abscesses yeah. were reoccurring. So I was hoping there'd be some nice, nice shadowing that really looked like a piece of something from there. Okay. All right, so Dr. J did not find anything conclusive, um, yeah, except maybe a po what? There's a pocket in there. Well, there's something kind of suspicious. Um, it's kind of bright. So I can only get the thicker probe in about so far, but this, this inch and a half needle went in almost all the way. And right off the right off the end of the needle, which is about what I measured, about three centimeters, there's a little spot of something. I'm just trying to think if I can carefully explore in there a little bit without cutting a great big hole in her neck. Cool. Okay. So while Dr. J's doing that, we're gonna give you a head-on view of Sally. She's looking a little round, and I'm going to show you her neck. You'll notice up here is, um, this is the crest of her neck. And when horses get a lot of food, <laughs> or grass in Sally's case, they get crusty. So you can see where Sally seems to have a lot more fat on top of her neck so we're going to have to put her grazing muzzle on and that's over here where I think Gail you hung this <laughs> oh so long ago and so we're going to put her grazing muzzle on tonight and this little hole allows grass to come through and she can nip it off so she won't be so crusty so as we talked about in previous videos about laminitis. Did we talk about that? Briefly. Okay. All right. So the grazing muzzle is to prevent Sally from getting laminitis and to help her get her girlish figure back. Excellent. To keep her healthy. Hence why all of us wear grazing muzzles. I need a grazing muzzle. I need one with duct tape. <laughs> all right. So this was a little bonus video this evening, and we're going to sign out.